So question 18 from the homework, right? We make a solution by adding 50 grams of toluene. They tell us that the density of toluene is 0.867 grams per milliliter. Um, to a flask, right? And then we fill with benzene to the 250 milliliter mark. And then it wants to know the molarity of this. All right, so they give us the mass of toluene. We need to find um, volume of toluene so that we can find, right? The molarity is moles per liter. Actually, we don't need to do that, right? Because we know the total volume of the solution. We know the final volume of the solution is 250 milliliters, and we know the mass of the toluene that we're adding. So our first step would be to find moles of toluene, and then we know the final volume of the solution. The final volume of the solution is 250 milliliters. So I've got 50 grams of toluene, and toluene is C7. H8, so the molar mass, right, 7, 14, yeah, 84 plus 8. So the molar mass of toluene is 92 grams per mole. <clears throat> so 50 grams. Is how much toluene I have divided by the molar mass, 92. We've got 0.543 moles of toluene. And I have that 0.543 moles of toluene to find molarity. Um, we want to write moles per liter. I have a 250 milliliter solution, which is 0 0.250 liters, right? So I've got that many moles in this many liters of solution. So divide that by 0 0.25. And I get a molarity of like 2.17 molar for this solution. So they give you a lot of extra information that you don't need in this question. Um, Again, just be careful with your numbers because maybe that mass of toluene is a variable, so it could be different, but the steps would be the same to convert that mass into moles. And then once we know moles of solution, we know the volume of the solution so we can find molarity, right? The moles divided by um, the liters of solution that we have for question 18.